Hi, I'm David Bell for the Practical Theology Channel. Rod Moore, the Australian artist who teaches how to paint classes on YouTube, recently uploaded a beginner's video on Monet's water lilies. That got me thinking about Impressionism and what it meant. As you probably know, Impressionism is the name of a great art movement that began in the 1870s. But how did it begin? French artist Claude Monet called one of his early paintings Impression Sunrise. This quickly became a term of derision among the critics, just as the word Methodist in English religion. John Wesley, who lived in the previous century and obviously a totally different context, took over the term of derision and declared it to be the name of his denomination, the Methodists. Monet and his friends did likewise. They became the Impressionists. And they changed the world of art and how we see it. Monet and the Impressionists breathed a new kind of life and colour and vitality into their work. Listen to what he says. Colour is my day-long obsession, joy and torment. Hmm, I can relate to that. And the subject is of secondary importance to me. What I want to reproduce is what exists between the subject and me. That is the most profound observation. What exists between the subject and me. That's what he wants to paint. In England, he had observed closely Turner's love affair with light. Turner had once strapped himself to the mast of a ship in a storm so he could see and feel and experience the effect of heavy snow falling at sea, and he painted it later on. Monet feels the same way about motion and rest, light and shade. We see it both in his art and his extraordinary garden. He came to Chiverny when he was 40. He was poor and he rented the house. He loved being there and began developing that garden. He loved being the artist in the garden. And this is what he said. My garden is my most beautiful masterpiece. Everything I've earned has gone into these gardens. The gardens of Chiverny are extraordinary. In his old age, when he was rich and could afford five or six gardeners, they were still a painter's garden. Quote, You must know, I'm entirely absorbed in my work. These landscapes of water and reflections have become an obsession. It's quite beyond my powers at my age, and yet I want to succeed at expressing what I feel. Unquote. So in his way, he became as obsessed as Wesley for a search for truth. It was an artist's search, not a preacher's. Not better, not worse, just different. Yet they were searching for the one same thing that everyone longs to feel. One paints in words of the gospel and in deeds of charity. The other paints in colour and light in the creative arts. Let Monet have the final word. Everyone discusses, and he means by that his art, everyone discusses and, quote, pretends to understand when it's simply necessary to love, unquote. If you're interested in learning how to begin to paint, use the link to Rod Moore's lesson. And if you enjoyed this video over here in the Practical Theology channel, do subscribe, like and share. Thanks indeed for watching.